Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Um, I don't know about Tomb Raider with robot dinosaurs. Alright, let's see. I hope Corvin and the others are doing better than I am. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of Chain Scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? You mentioned you were injured in Caven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Caven. Yeah. A couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, Tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvind and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Mm-hmm. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvind's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olven's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven. Didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? 
Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Well, we officially have shit to do. I just want to sleep. Whoa! Anyone see where I put I my drink? A beer I didn't like. Anyone? I couldn't finish. Anyone? Oh, there it is. Look at her go. Seems like Bitterleaf likes to grow on rocky terrain. Hmm, this'll keep. Okay, I think I have enough Bitterleaf. What? Oh. Oh. Another one of them. Arrow to the face generally kills things really well. There, that should be enough wild meat for Nordov. 
I am. Now I gotta go get away. Where are you going? Scroungers. An old of sight can find a way to handle the other scrap piles. Hit well, it's covered in that. Ow! For the scrap piles for a metal panel. Rock. Check another scrap pile. Uh, 
stomach's full, but my stash has room. I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing, too. I can use a decent meal. Oh, gotta keep going around. Ran my way. Happy to see me? Whoa! Leave me alone! This must be the mine all enough to be about. Like the foreman Orlif mentioned. I should check in with him. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arnif sent me. I'm not, not now. Uh, uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Uh, Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still. They're still down there. I can't can't stop. You've done enough.
Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use control blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. I need to know exactly what happened. We use control blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. Yeah. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. <laughs> 